Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today I want to talk about some really big changes that the developers for World War II are going to be pushing out and looking into, and a lot of these issues are what we have been complaining about for weeks now, and I'm not sure about you guys, but to me it's such a big sigh of relief that some of these things that we have brought up over on places like Reddit and Twitter are getting checked out, because some of these issues are what's hindering the game from being a bit more fun. So I'm going to go over all of these things right here, and then I'm going to talk Talk about some things that I would like to see changed and brought up because that way maybe the game can take an even bigger step in the right direction. Now, I would like to start off by reading the little message that Sledgehammer has here for us. And they say, hey everyone, hope your holidays were great and relaxing. Quick update here, we've seen all your feedback on how we can improve flow of communication and let you know more about some of our design choices. We want you to know that we take your input seriously and recognize that while commenting and replying to individuals is great, the community would also like to see more frequent posts from us over on reddit slash if world war 2 it's a fair and valid point and seems to be a sentiment shared amongst many of you that's why while we have a game update coming for you soon we would also like to expand on some of our high priority items below that remain top issues in the community some of them are issues that need to be fixed some of them are design choices that we would like to explain so stay tuned for more detailed posts on the below section so uh, they do go on to list these items and I'm gonna talk about them really quick right here so uh, first off here the sprint out times personally I would really love to see a buff in this regard however I just kind of believe that this was one of the design choices that the devs had because if they wanted to they would have already buffed the sprint out time so again I just kind of feel that the slow sprint out times was just something planned and to be honest I've actually gotten kind of used to the times now but again I would really love a buff because I'm a heavy rusher in COD and of course that would definitely help better my game now a lot of people did argue that they didn't feel the sprint out times as a big concern but I think most of those players were the ones who kind of play at a bit more passive level and not a running and gunning style of play because it is kind of noticeable heck you can even actually aim down your sights quicker by doing the weapon inspect and then shortly after you go into your ADS and it's pretty obvious that there is a quicker time by doing this compared to just regularly aiming down your sights so if you want to get a quicker time use that method but again I've gotten kind of used to the time now but hopefully Sledgehammer does clarify on why they chose to have a slower time Time compared to other Call of Duty games. Next up here, this is a huge issue to a lot of players, especially in SD, and it's spectating at the start of matches. So I'm pretty sure most of you guys have had this issue come up. And it takes like five seconds, maybe even longer to spawn in at the start of a game. And sometimes for SD, you can't even play that round because it took so long for you to spawn in. And obviously, your team is gonna be at a big disadvantage. And this is a pretty big issue. So I'm really glad that it's gonna be getting fixed here very, very soon. And then here we have Domination 50 score per kill, which I am okay with. I mean, I don't really care regardless of the score change. It doesn't really matter to me because I usually don't play Dom 2 too much. And then a next up here is the announcer volume levels. So there will be no more of A bomb's been planted on our ammo supply. Bees retreating. Keep firing. Oh my god. Also here this is a super super huge change and it's the health regeneration. Now a lot of players have been complaining about this because they say that the regen is really slow, which I do agree with 100% and I would love for a slight buff to it. And then next up here another really big change, the shell shock from friendly explosion. So as you may know if your teammate drops a grenade in your vicinity, it does shake your screen a little bit. Well actually a lot, which is kind of annoying because if you're trying to kill someone, it it does kind of distort your aim a little bit and overall I don't really know why they thought it was a good idea to add that especially for someone who uses score streaks like the artillery barrage a lot I swear I've gotten so many headaches because of this before and I'm really glad that they're gonna be fixing that so uh, pretty good there also here they will uh, do some changes to score streaks and as a whole this is very very nice because some of the score streaks like the ball turret gunner go by super fast and if you're playing on a map with a lot of cover the kills you get is is probably like gonna be three or two at most I mean if you're lucky and again this is the best streak in the game and that should not happen so hopefully they will look into that but also just score streaks in general they need a huge buff definitely and then lastly here some weapon tunings for the shotgun so this was everything that is currently being looked at and again this is all because of our feedback and I really do feel that the devs are paying close attention to what we have to say so if you are having a problem with something in the game go voice your opinion over on reddit and twitter and get 
get involved with the community and have a discussion this is a really really big thing to do and again some of these changes could potentially bring a lot more players back over and I know I definitely am satisfied with Sledgehammer Games right now because the lack of communication is something I have brought up numerous times and I'm really happy that they are listening and getting involved themselves. Now they are also looking into fixing some other weapons in the game like the M1 Garand and the Car 98 and some other weapons and I'll have that post at the bottom of this video if you want to go check that out. And again, this is all because of our feedback. Now, this is a huge step in the right direction. It's pretty big, but there are some issues that still need to be addressed, such as the broken aim assist. It is a bit harder to get that aim assist if you are even looking at the slightest piece of cover, which I've even noticed at the very start of the game for the record, but I just kind of thought this was a well-known issue amongst players. And looking back, I should have made a video on it or spread the word somehow on Reddit because there actually were a lot of players that were not aware of this, but hopefully they do fix that coming up here and also I would like to see a buff to the social score XP it does take a really really long time to level up that social score to 20 and I hope they will have some other events or something coming up that helps us earn more social score like the flat gun event there hasn't been any news on that where it is but maybe it will come up by the devs very very soon here and then the last thing I have here is the paint shop I just kind of wish they would have talked about this because we have already uh, gone into the new year and it's still not in the game yet and there hasn't been any discussions of this by the devs and I wish they would give us a proper ETA on when this can come out so guys these are a few things that I've come up with that are still a bit hindering to the game but there still is a bit more that I have but I really don't want to entirely make this video talking about the negative things instead I want to take this time to commend Sledgehammer for completely changing my view of the game because just by addressing the players concern is a really big thing and again it definitely is a step in the right direction towards making this game better so guys tell me your thoughts about this in the comment section down below and what are your thoughts on these changes and which ones are you excited for and what would you like to see also drop a like if you guys did enjoy the video and thanks for watching till next time i'll see you later now one last thing i forgot to mention i do feel that the next major patch will come out sometime before or on the resistance dlc so very very soon here for sure now that's all i had to mention in case you were wondering about that and yeah thanks for watching till next time i'll see you later